people understand it really very properly now and finally we will be able to uh, we will be able to leave this thing okay how what is the interrelationship among different aggregates this will help you more i'll do it in a jiffy because now we have everything in mind basically we have what we have we have uh, uh, four aggregates that is g and p g d p n n p and n d p among these four first two are at market price and the second two are at factor cost remember nnp at factor cost nnp net national product it is national product at factor cost is also known as national income and ndp that is domestic product at factor cost is also known as domestic income but let us look at all these very things again now let me make certain uh, more aggregates i'll put all these aggregates in the rest remaining four uh, four uh, boxes i'll start from right hand side with a white color or red itself g and p but at factor cost g d p again at factor cost n d p at market price n n p at market price so in order to reach from g n p market price at market price to nnp at factor cost what we will need to do we will need to subtract gross national product this is gross national product same this is market price this is factor cost so market price is bigger than the factor cost and difference in between the two is nit net indirect tax so in order to reach from gnp to mp we will deduct nit will reach to gnp at fc likewise from gnp fc to gdp fc these are both at factor costs gross gross net and domestic the difference lies here so we have to make the difference between net and domestic net national i am sorry national second n is national national and domestic national to domestic so there is a difference of n f i a likewise from gdp fc to ndp fc 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 gross dom and net there is just one thing to be gross and net is differentiated by depreciation here ndp the arrow is going downwards ndp mp ndp fc so the difference is between mp and fc minus n i t like here n n p at m p n d p at m p n n p n d p m p m p so the difference is national and domestic so minus n f i a here at the top g n p m p n n p m p so g n p m p n n p m p the difference will be exactly depreciation without wasting much of the time i'll complete it the difference here will be n f i a gdp mp nnp gdp nnp fc ndp fc minus n f i a likewise here nnp mp nnp mp nnp fc the difference between the two will be minus n i t minus depreciation minus depreciation and what is remaining now gd what is remaining 
जी डी पी एम पी एंड जी डी पी एफ सी सो द डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन एम पी एंड एफ सी सो वट विल बी माइनस एन आई टी इज एनी थिंग रिमेनिंग नो वी आर डन विथ इट सो दिस इज हाउ इट इज दिस इज अ वेरी रियली वेरी सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड द थिंग्स इन दिस वेरी मैनर सो वील नाउ बी एबल टू perform certain sort of uh, formulas will be able to calculate certain formulas if you are being asked in an examination say first gdp is equal to gnp so gdp is equal to gnp look this is g this is g that means gross and grossed we have to do nothing so we will null it gross and gross are gone product and product are gone the difference lies in between domestic and national so i'll rewrite it g d p is equal to g n p so the difference is in between domestic and national see here it is national and this is domestic national is bigger domestic is smaller so national from going we have to go from national to domestic that means we will have to subtract what is the difference in between the two n f i a here we are done now we'll make this example again in one more way gdp again but let us say it is at uh, mp market price and we are being asked to make it gnp at fc so how we will do it it is now to be done like g and g are same second is domestic and national so national minus nf i a is domestic product is same here we have factor cost this is market price factor cost plus net indirect taxes will be equal to market price now let us take one more example for your sake in order to understand it more really uh, properly is say uh, n n p at f c equal to n d p what do do we do one thing let us make it a bit difficult a bit difficult we'll do it like uh, g d p at m p look here this is n n p at f c net national product at factor cost this is gross domestic product at market price so the first two net and gross second is national and domestic third is the factor cost and market price now how we can do it is like gross min gross minus depreciation is equal to net first thing is done domestic plus n f i a is national second thing is done market price minus n i t is factor cost third thing is done so our formula is ready here this is how you can perform all these very formulas and everything and uh, uh, if you wish uh, let me let me let me let me do one more for you people and this will be the last one let us take anything we can take any of the factors uh, we aggregates let us take uh, g n p at f c equal to uh, <coughs> n n p at m p again first is gross and net we have to differentiate in between gross and net so gross and net will be differentiated like okay 
tell me take your time exactly so this is net this is gross net plus depreciation is equal to gross this is national this is national we have to do nothing with it this is product this is product we have to do nothing with it market price minus and IIT will be equal to factor cost. So our formula final will be G and P at FC is equal to N and P at MP plus depreciation minus N I T. So this is our final formula. So by this way you can reach to any conclusion or you can talk of any aggregate in any way. For your convenience let us do an example with which we will be able to understand uh, the things really very properly or in the best manner so that we may do the things as and when required. For that I will go to a simple numerical example. Okay, let us do this numerical example first look at the question given the following following means all these very components calculate national income and GNP MP see what we are being asked to do keep it in mind what we are being asked to do we are being asked to calculate GNP MP and national income as I said earlier NNPFC is also called as national income for your convenience I'll write it here national income or NNPFC so GNP at MP and NNP at FC we have to reach to the following let us look at the components what we have what we have got? We have got NDP at MP 140 Arab rupees, NIT that is net indirect tax 12 Arab rupees, consumption of fixed capital 13, consumption of fixed capital or it could had been depreciation as well. Net factor income from abroad is minus 1 see how minus is being put you have to indicate minus in the brackets follow the proper format the proper format will fetch you proper marks so how to do this question let us make the solution for this question solution will be equal to national income first we will calculate national income national income or N N P at F C is equal to what we have given okay N D P which is at market price second we have been given N I T minus N I T third is consumption of fixed capital we have to do nothing with it as from the previous thing previous uh, way of calculating formulas the fourth has been given as NFIA we are talking about the national income so we will require NFIA but we will have to add NFIA in it N F I A so N N P at F C will be equal to what is N D P at M P 114 Arab rupees NIT is 12, NFIA is minus 1. So 114 minus 12 plus minus 1 will come equal to 101. What is this? 101? Our NNP at FC. The first part is done the first part of our numerical problem is done.
Now what we are being asked to calculate as well is G N gross national product at market price. See, we already have calculated net national product at factor cost. We can reach this way as well on this uh, very component that is GNP at market price. But we will follow the format itself. What is being given? The first thing we have been given is NDP at MP. Second, it is uh, gross national product. Uh, so at market price so we don't have to do anything with the second one the third one is consumption of fixed capital that we would require plus consumption of fixed capital or depreciation it is one and the same thing plus NI, NFIA as from the previous way of doing our formula see I am doing the same thing I, I have to reach from GNP MP to NDP MP let us bear it in mind for a time being. Let us keep it in mind that we have to reach from GNPMP to NDPMP. What I'll do, I'll uh, add it with depreciation and I'll add it with NFIA because this is MP and N. National is the big, big component, MP is the big component. So will be equal to 114 as given plus depreciation or fact, uh, consumption of fixed capital which is 13 plus minus 1 will be equal to 114 plus 10 124 124 125 127 126 is our final outcome so our gnp at mp is equal to 126 you will have to bear the way of calculating the formulas in mind and you will be able to perform such numericals i think this is more than sufficient to understand the things properly uh, for you people i'll do one more thing i'll give you a question on depreciation because depreciation is something which is asked time and again which comes time and again so we will understand this depreciation part first see here we have a question here which is saying if a machine is purchased for rupees 20 lakh and is expected to realize the scrap value of rupees 1 lakh after its estimated life of 10 years. Calculate the depreciation per year. This uh, is a bonus point here, how we calculate depreciation. Look at the question again. A machine, I'll underline the things. A machine is purchased for rupees 20 lakh and is expected to realize a scrap value of 1 lakh after it is estimated life of 10 years what we have to calculate is depreciation per year for doing depreciation per year you need to have you need to remember a small formula that small formula will write you must write the solutions like first give the formula depreciation per year is equal to cost of asset minus estimated scrap value whole divided by estimated life of assets. This is the formula which you have to keep in mind. This is the formula for calculating depreciation. This is the formula for calculating depreciation. So putting all the values what we have in this very formula, we will get it like depreciation per year is equal to, what is the cost of asset? 20 lakh. What is the estimated scrap value? 1 lakh. Whole divided by. What is the estimated life of asset? 10 years. It is 20 lakh minus 1 lakh divided by 10 years. 
calculate it and you will have your answer as one lakh ninety thousand so it was very small and simple but I wanted you people to understand how depreciation is calculated last but not least you people are done with many things we did a structure we did some numericals we did certain uh, formula calculations and ultimately we reached to a goal where we got able to understand the whole concept of this aggregates i hope you will follow this whole lecture really very properly in order to reach to the final conclusions and you'll be able to use all these very things in your chapter and we will be able to proceed now in the lecture uh, perhaps will be five the calculation or the methods of measurement of national income for now i thank you all for uh, being so patient and i hope that you all people will follow it all so dear students i'll take a leave of yours here saying thank you this is your umar sir